Well, welcome. It's so nice to be with you guys today. Call this a formula for workforce development success. The Sioux Falls Development Foundation and POET teamed up recently to provide a memorable lesson for Brandon Valley sixth graders. This is a great opportunity for us to talk about careers in science, particularly chemical engineers, which we're in such short supply of. We have sustainable energy that can provide to a lot of different companies and organizations and sources. We're seeing more and more that we need to get in front of students at a younger age just to expose them to all the different opportunities that they have, you know, in the different fields, but also to stay in South Dakota. Poet Engineers helped put this program together, detailing what the company's work involves and what careers can be built there. I think it's great for Poet to get their message out there. So. Uh, biofuels are something that we produce here in the Midwest and are, are great for the environment, uh, renewable and cheaper in the gas tank. So if we can get messages like that out to students at the same time that we share with them that, hey, there's career opportunities here in South Dakota, it's going to be a big deal. Engineering and, and science and operations sometimes might sound a little bit intimidating, but these are, these are fun careers that they can jump right into after school and even start pursuing classes now that lean towards these different areas. People like poet process engineer Dallas Harder helped personalize the message. Growing up, I didn't think I was going to be a chemical engineer. I wanted to be a NASCAR driver, and I wanted to be an author, and then I wanted to be a professional a musician, and then just kind of at the end of my uh, high school career, I was like, okay, let's be an engineer, and let's go to uh, South Dakota School of Mines. He says a program like this would have had an enormous effect on him. If I would have had this growing up, this, uh, this would have changed where I went. Just being able to kind of learn what they kind of do because when you hear engineering you're thinking okay someone that builds things um, someone who's good with math uh, good with their hands and that's not that's part of it but that's not the whole thing then it was time for hands-on learning we got like a mixture of four different things that represented something and um, we had to separate it as best we could in a limited amount of time. So there was like beads and water and oil and glitter and each of those kind of represented something from our process so we explained to them that as a chemical engineer part of our job is to separate the items that we have in our facility into high quality products that we can sell to the consumer. Students divided into groups and assumed roles similar to a real world business team. I was team captain today and I kind of ran the group and decided how everything went, but they had different roles too. I was the project manager, so I just kind of looked over everything, gave some suggestions on what we should do. I was the scientist and researcher, so I got to like design um, the process that we got to go through and then help kind of facilitate it and make sure everyone was doing what they're supposed to. I had to keep track of time for everyone and tell them like how much time we had left and if we needed to like um, do it faster or if we could keep going at the rate we were going. We took the beads and put them through the strainer and then we put them in their finishing container and then we took the water and the glitter mixture and we put it over a coffee filter and then we put the rest of the glitter that we got in the coffee filter into the finishing container and then we didn't really know how to um, separate the water and the oil, so we, and we were running out of time, so we just kind of divided the solution in half and called it good. I thought it was really fun to work with the group to be able to have different roles and work on one challenge together and be able to succeed in the end. Winning groups were chosen and students presented to the class how they tackled the project. Staff said the program's structure was ideal for learning. The introduction, uh, telling them what POET does, uh, showing them what POET does, and then giving them the opportunity to experience it hands-on. Uh, it was such a well, well laid out presentation. I was very impressed with, with what they put together today. And it definitely made a positive impression on the students. I learned how different ethanol and gasoline were from each other, and when they were burned, gasoline left like a black soot. and. Um, ethanol stayed clean and that showed me how Poet uses it like to create clean air. Poet's really cool and that um, they might have good jo job opportunities in the future. I learned that what Poet does is really good, how they like um, 
create better ways to fuel things and get cleaner air. The Brandon Valley activity is just part of a larger development foundation program called Your Future STEM that's partnering with industry and education to engage students with STEM-related careers. It's already tackled construction and architecture, now biofuels and healthcare is next. This is a huge priority because we know that we have to start earlier. So we're starting in sixth and seventh and eighth grade. We're coming in with skill development, career exposure, as well as aligning to their curriculum. That's how we're going to help them and guide them through high school and into college about what we need to see finally in industry. The Development Foundation being able to provide these opportunities is such a unique opportunity and I'm thankful that our school district allows those uh, opportunities to happen.